From our childhood, we might curiosity have seen big rivers and bridges over the sea. But have you ever thought about how such big bridges are built in such deep rivers and seas? In this video, we are going to see how such bridges are built over the sea. Let's jump into the video. Welcome to the Channel World Stories. The first step in building a bridge is to learn about the place where the bridge is being built. Engineers determine the depth of the sea and the strength of the soil and sand in which the bridge is built. Scuba divers are used to measure the depth. After this, the work of the bridge begins. To build bridges over the water, the coffer dam structure is used. This is a method similar to the dam model. In short, the water is stopped and the pillars for the bridge are built. In this way, when the bridge is built, the coffer dams are built to the required size to build the necessary pillars for the bridge. Iron bars are added to make the completely waterproof from to stop water came from the outside to the inside. The size of the coffer dam varies depending on the bridge. After constructing such coffer dams, these coffer dams will be lowered to the place where the pier of the bridge will be installed using a crane. In places where such cranes cannot be used, the coffer dams are rolled into the river and taken through the water to the required place and constructed. If they are lowered into the water like this, the next job is to pump all the water inside and throw it out. In this way, the entire water is pumped and the inside of the coffer dam is made like a normal place. When such constructions are carried out inside the coffer dam, special teams and inspections are carried out to see if there is any tides in the river or sea. Because the construction of bridges using such coffer dams can be complete quickly, but there are many dangers lurking in it. Anyway, this coffer dam will weight about 400 tons. The pillars with the necessary strength for the bridge are built inside these coffer dams. This is the most important part of a bridge. Once the pillars are constructed, the upper part of the bridge will be built as ready-made. The part of the bridge made in this way is used as a foundation. Before all this, the structure to connect the cable is attached as a foundation. It is used for thousands of nets and bolts. After that, the tower to connect the ropes is fitted to it. Now it is the job of fitting the middle part of the bridge. The structure that was framed earlier will be attached to the upper part of the first bridge. After that, the other parts of the bridge will be connected to it. Cables and cranes are used for this. In this way, if the parts of the bridge are placed, the cables should be connected. Although it looks like just cables, it is a big system that works with the help of motors. Each cable is made by combining hundreds of wires made of many steel wires. A safety cover is also provided outside the wires to prevent them from rust. These cables are tightened with the help of motors. It will be in perfect condition for up to 100 years. All this will be the same from both sides of the river. In addition, the work of the highway above this bridge will also be done on the other side. In this way, bridges will be built from all sides and finally reach the middle of the bridge. In this way, the construction of the bridge will be complete. After the bridge is built, the coffer dams made to build the pillars will be removed from there. The fact is that if such coffer dams are used, bridges can be built more easily and strongly. Anyway, don't forget to comment on what you think about this. See you in next interesting video. Goodbye.